All right, everybody. Martin here with the last uh, match of the Legacy League. I am three one at this point. Um, these were matches played uh, last night, by the way. Just, uh, just so you know, I won the Dyro. I think I've won the Dyro in like all five matches. That's pretty absurd, especially considering I'm playing this hyper turbo like combo deck. But I'm not one to complain. And we keep this for sure. It has like if we're not up against blue a blue deck, we go turn one and two at the end of their turn and then just shallow grave for the win. So that's our plan. It depends on what we're up against. Ghost quarter. So I guess it could be like Eldrazi? Did they play Ghost Quarter? Probably not. Well maybe they could though. Could be lands, could be death and taxes, and it's death and taxes. So I feel pretty confident that there aren't any counter spells waiting to kill me. And I can afford to be kind of reckless with the lands, but I'm not actually because being reckless would have meant fetching up basic swamp. Because if I get ghost quartered, I won't be able to get out of basic swamp. So there, there's that. Saver Flooded Strand, because I can get Basic Island in case we don't win, but obviously we win. Um, I've spoken too soon. We need a pedal. So we're going to attack. If we get a pedal, we win though, because we have children in hand. So we get to draw again with Rizzlebrand. And is there a pedal? There is! And we probably I'll skip past that a bit too quickly, but just to see what what that it was doesn't tax us, and it was. Gain the twenty four life, twenty three life, whatever. Draw seven cards left in the library. We could draw those, but there's no need. We just we have pedal, bunch of rituals, and we have the tendrils. So, many drills later. So, we win game one on turn two. I won quite a few games with tendrils. Um, I see some lists, I think, that skew the tendrils. And it might just be a question of, like, play style and... Like, I don't know, maybe I'm missing stuff that would allow me to just swing with Emrakul more often. But I've certainly enjoyed having the tendrils on the deck. So, back for game two. So we don't really sideboard for this uh, matchup. We might bring in the Serenity. Just to kill like a uh, rest in peace, but I don't think it's worth it. Okay, so we basically have a turn one kill here. But they have Caracas, which actually is like the best thing they could have here, I think, barring like stuff like a, a surgical extraction or, or something like that, mind break trap. But I, th I still at this point feel fairly confident that this just wins. Uh, we get to draw 14. We draw 7. They plow it in response. They don't even crack us. We draw another 7. Okay, first 7 is not a big help. Friend dies. Or is exiled. We draw another 7. And we don't have a win here. I mean, we only have two pedals and no. Uh... <coughs> oh, pardon me. We only have two pedals and no rituals. So I guess we probe them. We have some life now. They have. Nothing. 
of importance. So no hate piece coming down next turn, but I decide to ponder. I'm not really sure. Well, yeah, actually, I'm I'm looking for a dark ritual. Dark ritual wins us the game. So I guess we shuffle here, but we don't get the dark ritual. We get the thought sees. So we just pass the turn, and we discard a bunch of stuff. We should probably discard Emrakul, although Emrakul is a way for us next turn to, if we can get like to Dark Ritual, we can get both Emrakul and Rizzlebrand in against the Caracas. Well, they draw a second land, and they play out the Vile and wisely leave up Caracas. Ugh. So again, we can go for... We can go for Gristlebrand with one activation, but that leaves us with resources spent. I'm not sure I like that. Maybe we just pass the turn. I guess not. I think passing the turn might have been more correct. But it is scary against Death and Taxes because like all the draw steps from now on are just super live. For, like Canonist or Thalia or Rest in Peace or even Brewoker. So yeah, we get draw seven, they bounce old E Gristlebrand. And so we what we do is we get to discard the hand size, put Gristlebrand back in the graveyard, and next turn maybe we can like dump Gristlebrand or like bring back Gristlebrand and dump Emrakul and bring back Emrakul. So how much mana would that require? That would require that would require require five mana. We currently have three, so we need to draw a pill. And we can't probe because that would leave us on one life and we need to be able to crack a fetch. And we also need them not to hit a two drop of relevance. They don't. Okay, good. Um, Come on. Nope. I think we just lose. We don't really have any outs, really. Which is a shame. Guess we can like let them beat us down. What did they take with the Stoneforge? Uh, Gite. They could play and equip Gite, but that seems kind of bad for them. They leave Caracas open. Oh, sorry, Caracas tapped. So we still have a chance to draw like the Dark Ritual if they don't have like a two drop to Island, but we don't. And so I think we just concede. Yep. Because uh, they can violin the second stone forge if nothing else, because they had to, and I think so, and uh, just attack for lethal. Alright, so game number three. Back into the wall. If we win this, we are 4 1 and very happy with uh, how we did playing this deck for the first time in a, la a league. Or anything competitive really on Magic Online. If we don't, we break even, so it's still decent, but ultimately a bit disappointing. On the play, though, against Death and Taxes, I like my odds there. I also like this hand, because we have the Entomb, we have Mana Ramp, and we have a Ponder to, to, to look for, uh, like one of our eight animation spells. We can also probe into Therapy if we need to take something out of their hand. They also keep seven, so I think we just lead off with a probe. 
They have Caracas again, which is annoying. They also have Rest in Peace and Revoker uh, as relevant cards. And so we can't really help them getting Caracas now. Well, there's a reanimation spell. So at least we'll get to draw 14 with Rand once more. We get a bit more lucky. And yeah, we lead on the on the non-basic in hope that they will choose to play Wasteland over Caracas, but wisely they don't. So we have a second Gristle Brand in our hand, and we can therapy ourselves. So there's a somewhat real chance of like being able to do that uh, after they have attacked, like activated Caracas. Actually, just that's what we lead off with. They activate Caracas, but we draw seven more. And yeah, we get it here. We got seven more. Well, we get the Emrakul there. And the Gristle Brand in hand. The second Gristle Brand. Well, no, sorry, not the second Gristle Brand. Or one Gristle Brand. So yeah, we can go for another Gristle Brand. We can also go for like, uh, like we can tune for both Crystal Brand and Children of Corliss. Bring them both back. And it's basically just a win from here. Put back Emrakul, swing with him. I think we were supposed to. Oh, yeah. I think we were supposed to not do it like this. <laughs> but we have Entomb for Gristle Run next turn. Just uh, di discard uh, Gristle Run hand size. So a bit loose there at the end, but ultimately it doesn't matter because we get to just alpha them with Crystal Brand here. And they can see it's so a four one playing this deck. It's definitely a ton of fun. I would recommend it to anyone uh, to give it a try. It's not like it's it's quite inconsistent. I don't think this these five rounds are representative of what it's really like. But yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching and have fun.